welcome back guys uh, in this video we are going to look into another important aspect of uh, debugging in MPLAB X IDE before we have used special function registers now in this one we are going to look at input output view which is as important as the special function registers now similar to before I'm gonna uh, set a breakpoint here and start running this on debug mode so it will come and pause at this particular breakpoint once the program starts in the debug mode. I have picked this particular point randomly. You can pick anywhere you want, uh, wherever you want, in fact, to look into the internals of your microcontroller. So it is still building. So after it builds, then it will enter into the debug mode. Build may take a little while sometimes depending on the speed of your computer okay the build is successful the computer is a little slow because I'm recording my screen so you have to bear with me with that Okay, we are back at the debug mode now so in order to look into input output I have to go into the window debugging input output view so that will open up the input output view right next to your output window here so there you can see all the input output uh, ports available with the big 16 f 877a microcontroller so here you can see there are two pwms and then external interrupt uh, several ports port a b c d and e and then power on reset timers uart and even it has a brownout reset right so now we have set trisb to zero so far now trace B as you know is attached to port B port B's data direction register is the trace register and the data register is port register so I have to go to port B so if I click on port B you can see here I have my port B values and my trace values right here right I have my port B values and I have my trace values so my port B the value is 0 that address is 0x006 if you go on to the data sheet you can see that the address is 0x006 and the trace b's address is 0x086 and right now the value is 0x80 okay i will just go one more step now i will go into port d in port d the value is zero right okay now I will move on to this particular place and continue so the program comes and hit this place so there I want to look at port B what is the value of port B so I'm going to click on port B so port B's value right now is 
zero x two zero that is because I have turned the LED on for, which is attached to this port but the rest are zero right so when if this pin becomes one this will move on to LED on or else it will move to LED off so at this particular state since this pin is zero this should move on to LED off we'll see see it moves on to LED off I'll, if I continue it will come back here if I continue again it will go into LED off now if my port B pin 0 becomes 1 we'll see now what happens now if, if that is 1 then this should go on to here once I continue see yeah, so I can do those things using this input output mode as well. So this is pretty much similar to what we have done using special purpose registers, but in a different way. So this looks nice and it has a nice appearance and you can uh, see all the input output ports at one particular place. So that is it regarding this input output view. So in the next video we will move on to uh, this particular task which is uh, program memory thank you